YouTube. This is Radchick, and I wanted to give you guys an update on the six celebrities and the Wigner Effect interview, uh, which was uh, released in its entirety on the five-year anniversary of Fukushima. We did that interview in uh, 2014, and I would like to show you what we have collected since. But let's start with uh, the six celebrities. Uh, we did this interview on the two-year anniversary of the Fukushima disaster, and we had ten cases that we strongly felt were connected to um, well-known celebrities who were flying a lot, and most, if not all of them, also lived in the Los Angeles area or spent a considerable amount of time in the L.A. area, which has been heavily contamin contaminated from the Rocketdyne, um, Simi Valley nuclear disaster. So there's a multiplier effect in these people which makes them the canaries in the coal mine as far as radiation sickness starting to show up in populations. So we had 10 people. We did Kim Kardashian who at that time Loren predicted would have a problem pregnancy with her first child which she did. She went into a liver failure and had to have the baby uh, delivered six weeks early. She went on to have another baby and uh, may not be able to have children uh, now because she has a problem where the blood vessels grew too deeply into her placenta or into her uterus. And that's kind of a way the baby grabs on harder when it realizes that the mother is sick. We also talked about Little Wayne, Kelly Osborne, Brooke Burke, Jessica Alba. I broke these down into short segments. Uh, we talked about pilots passing out from rad levels in flight, uh, and then the history of celebrities getting nuked, like John Wayne. There's also a section on Simi Valley, uh, Patrick Swayze, Michael Landon, uh, Vince Neal's daughter, and you can find these two full-length interviews on my YouTube channel. But in um, a year after we did this interview, I had emailed Loren, and we talk almost on a daily basis about both of these topics. And on March 12th of 2014, I sent her this email, and we had planned on doing an update to the original Flying Through Fallout series. And what I had so far, I was already getting, like, overwhelmed with. And we couldn't copy the format of the original interview by doing case by case. So I was starting to have to uh, group these celebrities by sickness. And so we started out with... Um, something easy, you know, like balding, bald spots, hair loss, um, and notable celebrities, and then illness requiring hospitalization after long flights, and um, cancer, uh, people getting vitamin C IVs, miscarriages, of which we have a just gigantic list now, um, pregnancy related problems, thyroid problems, and on and on and on. So this was the list that we had a year after we did that interview. And I had collected these, I had started new folders um, on my computer and in preparation for doing this updated interview. And I wanted to show you what I've collected since we did the original interview. These are all six celebrities. I've also started to include suicides, uh, murders, um, wrestlers, people in sports, um, deadliest catch, boy, they've gone through all kinds of captains and so forth on their ship, having heart attacks, dying unexpectedly. I had to start a second folder because I wanted to do kind of like a 10 weeks of Wigner. So these are all new cases. So let's take a closer look at a few of these. BBC presenter found dead in his home. Amy Robach from GMA has breast cancer. Julie Chang, I think she's like in her late 20s, had a brain tumor. Uh, Nene Leakes, hospitalized with blood clots in her lungs. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, she's been in the hospital a bunch of times, a few times after she went on long flights. Hugh Jackman, he's had several uh, operations for skin cancer. Um, Frankie Muna suffers second mini stroke. Uh, there were some um, like reality 
TV stars, and you, you probably haven't even heard these stories unless you looked for them. She had a baby that was born with cancer. Dennis Farina, 911 call, he can't breathe. Uh, cause, and, and he has since passed away. This poor guy, Real Chance of Love star, uh, had like stage 4, stage 5 colon cancer when they found it. He was like in his mid-20s. Another producer in um, uh, Toronto who's flying a lot for work had a tumor, a, a tumor that grew on her heart, extremely rare. Um, you know, miscarriages, problems with uh, uh, uterus problems, uh, rappers, for some reason, lots of rappers having um, strokes or seizures or dying suddenly. Um, you know, the list just goes on and on and on and on. And I look for these every day. I collect these. It's the last thing I do every night is I hit all the Hollywood rag reports to find out who is sick with what. And this is taking up an enormous amount of time. I could do just this as a full-time job. This kid is like the Australian version of Justin Bieber. He was, um, I don't even know if this kid's still alive. He was flying a lot for his Australia's Got Talent contest. Had a massive tumor that had to be removed from his eye. He had to have uh, like several surgeries. I don't even know how old he was, like 16, 17, 18. You know, really, really rare, rare stuff. Rare cancers in children. 17. Um, he had to have multiple surgeries. I haven't had an update on him in a while. And then, you know, our Six Celebrity 2 folder. Anna Fair, she had a baby who's got multiple, multiple health problems, eye problems. He was born premature. Um, news reporter has stroke on air. That's happened quite a few times. Um, Madonna, the more she flies, the more she seems to like lose control of herself. Rads affect mental function which is why um, these like wigging out events are so important and they happen a lot on planes but a lot of dead babies too really really sad um, and you know the, these these stars they're just they're clueless they're absolutely clueless it's almost like this is being made to like be normal like normal so people accept um, that, you know, babies are, are being born with these really rare conditions and retinoblastoma and brain cancer. Babies being born with cancer. You don't think there's a problem here? Nobody questions this? Really? We've got baseball players, ex-NFL players. Um, oh, it was Mel B's daughter who was rushed to emergency room for dizziness and excessive nosebleed. Then we have, you know, the cancer outbreak at Malibu High School. Um, this poor woman who went into a coma because of internal bleeding. The reason she was bleeding internally, she was 16 weeks pregnant, is because her baby was growing halfway out of her uterus and was attached to her bladder. These are all cases that have happened since we did the original interview. The list is enormous. Um, but that's nothing. Wait till you see the Wigner list. Okay, so the Wigner Effect interview, which we uploaded the full enhanced version for the five-year anniversary, which you can find on my channel, that has been broken down by topic because there was so much scientific information and data and I wanted to make it easy to find and easy for people to digest so we have the intro we have um, specifically dealing with um, metal fatigue in reactors and planes the effect on glass and other things what bomb tested to cars so what's happened historically uh, what happens to people from flying frequently, um, aircraft events and static electricity, and this is an important one, and I'll get to that in a minute, why we're having so many engine problems. Now remember, 
we did this interview two and a half years ago. And at that time, there was an exponential increase in the amount of plane problems that were occurring, including people having heart attacks, even children having heart attacks on flight and flights, and then also wigging out like pilots getting into fist fights and cockpits. I'm not kidding you. This has happened multiple times. So if you want to check out the full interview, um, it's on my channel. Or if you want to look at specific topics, you can go through the list like this. Um, this is what has happened since that interview. These are all the links that we would have to include in trying to present this data in a comprehensive fashion and show what is going on in the airline industry. These are just links that we've collected since our original interview. And I had started also a second folder, and this was for the um, 10 weeks of Wigner series. These are all different. These are all links of what has happened in the news. And, you know, the, the big thing about, like, this whole subject of Wigner is that um, the Wigner interview was kind of a test to really see who the smart people were in the anti-nuke movement. And, you know, I got banned from groups because of this interview. And uh, some of the activists were saying, oh, Radchick's crazy. She's trying to link Fukushima to plane crashes. And if you'd really, like, paid attention and you weren't trying to divert people's attention, you would realize that there's a multiplier effect when it comes to the planes. Number one being the static electricity that is generated on aircraft when they're flying at altitude, which is why we had a whole separate section devoted to this so people would understand it. Why is this happening in the planes? Well, because the planes are scavenging the radiation as they fly through the air because the electrical charge that occurs in the skin. That This is a problem for aircraft and this is a big problem when you're flying through radioactive particles. Um, but what Wigner means is that all of the spent fuel pools are cracked. All of them. And the reactors. Worldwide. And anyone who is trying to divert your attention from this is because what they really don't want you to know is this. You think this is just happening in Belgium? No, it's only because they checked properly. And there's a multitude of different ways that the integrity of the reactor vessels and the spent fuel pools could be checked. But it's not being done because they don't want you to know about it. A corrosion expert adds that the results of such detailed investigations could be insignificant or so strong that all the reactors must be shut down. He means all of the reactors worldwide, all of them, and the spent fuel pools. This is the real problem with Wigner. And anyone who's trying to tell you otherwise is co-opted. They are a shill. That is why we have so much infiltration of these people in our movement. This is part of the reason why this movement hasn't gone anywhere in 70 years. So I'll keep collecting these stories and hopefully one of these days be able to do another interview on it. But for right now, be very aware of who the people are that you are talking to and who you think is giving you real information.